Hello, hello, welcome. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. This is Bharti Nayak and Sagar Amlani. We are back today at 9 p.m. with the first episode of the Integrated Life Show. And we are very, very excited because last week we had our introduction and today the first episode is on attention to detail. So welcome each one of you who have joined from different parts of the city, different, uh, sorry, different parts of the country, different parts of the world. So quickly, please put up on your uh, comments. Let us know where you have joined in from, which corner of the world you have joined in from. Yes, Agar. Yes, hello and welcome everyone. This is Bharti and Sagar presenting and bringing you the integrated life. So wherever you're joining us from, be it LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, send in your name and which part of the world are you joining us from? And that gives us an awareness of where all are we integrating and where all we are touching lives. So we want to share some amazing, amazing things that happened in the last week with us. And I would love Bharti to take that up and share the good news. We have Amal Sarkar. Good evening, ma'am. Oh, lovely. Welcome, Amal, to the show. So let me first share the excitement that we have today. And there are some very interesting facts that I we would like to share is the last Tuesday, we had our first introductory uh, episode on uh, the integrated talk show, integrated life talk show. And that was reshared 62 times. And that was overwhelming. It was like, wow, 62 times it was reshared. 2000 plus viewers across LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube. 60% of our viewers over they watch the entire episode for over 30 minutes and more and uh, we already have the forms and they they were started filling up so we started receiving the forms which is there uh, on website and of course we'll be taking more questions as we go on so we are really excited and looking forward and thank you so much for joining us on this talk show thank you so much for viewing and uh, really being a part of uh, part of us so, Bharti, I would love to know where can they fill in the form? Because I see three people have filled in the form, shared their questions. So, where can they actually find and where can they fill in the form? It's very simple. They just need to go to the website, which is www.theintegratedlife.co.in and they just need to fill the form there. The form will open up with few questions, fill in the questions, and we'll be very happy to answer all your questions in the subsequent uh, episodes, because some questions will be answered uh, if it is related to the principle for focus. A uh, couple of questions which are related to celebrations, a couple of questions will be related to attention to detail. So mm -hmm. as and when we go through all the episodes, your questions will be picked up and we'll keep on answering them. And it will be our joy, our pleasure to uh, to have all the questions that uh, you have in your mind. So please log on, please go to the website, which is www.theintegratedlife.co.in and fill up your form. Please share your questions with us and let us, let us contribute meaningfully to each other in our life. Great, awesome. So here down here is a link. You can check the link, you can click on the link and share the form with us, share your questions, share your doubts, and we'll be more than happy to share it and reply it back to you. While we will not take names, the form remains anonymous with us, but your problems, your queries, your concerns, we will be taking up, as Bharti rightly said, during various episodes which actually connect you or which connect with your question or query or doubt to live an integrated life. Now, Bharti, there are some new members who have joined us and they would love to know what is the Integrated Life Show all about? Okay. So, uh, again, going back to uh, 
where we started the integrated live show and uh, we were all uh, we both were very much into sync about uh, synerging between what is proactivity and what is productive mindset and that is where uh, we looked at the integrated life and we said this is what we need to put it together as the integrated life show where we'll come every tuesday at 9 pm and we will talk about all the 26 principles that really help you to achieve the integrated life that you want so this live show is about you it's an in, it's an extraordinary talk show which integrates all the elements of life to enjoy the sense of fulfillment happiness and gratitude and to lead an integrated life you need to bring together the major elements of your life your personal and professional life which covers your work your family your community yourself and friends so integrating your work and your personal life is one of the most difficult issues that leaders face and that is what through this talk show we will bring forward these 26 ways 26 principles to build a productive mindset and have a proactive approach for an integrated life brilliant bravo and we have uh... Shavanya, if I'm spelling it right, from Bangalore. Oh, Lovely. Really? Thank you for sharing where you're joining us from. And we still have five more people and we are waiting for them to write back to us. In the meantime, as we all know, episode one today, we are going to talk about attention to detail. Now, what really is attention to detail and how does it helps you to live an integrated life? Now, an integrated life is in all aspects, be it health, be it your personal, be it your professional. So attention to detail is all about observing and absorbing, being aware and analyzing. But all that comes together, which is called as attention to detail. Now, there's a very thin line between attention to detail and perfection. Are we talking about perfectionist? Absolutely no. We are talking about attention to detail and how you define it is, it's about completing the task, demonstrating a specific concern or a genuine concern for all areas involved, which means it could be doing, monitoring, reviewing, checking the work or the information while organizing the available resources and the time effectively. Now, of course, some people will say that a resource is also time. But here, when we are talking about attention to detail, the resources are mainly the things, the activities, the people that are involved. And time is basically the commitment that we talk about. So that, my friend, is attention to detail. Now, let me tell you one small example before I hand it over to Bharti. Attention to detail, if missed out in an aviation industry, can cost a life. Attention to detail due to poor quality can cost a lot of losses, branding image and loss of money as well. We all remember how attention to detail made Apple what Apple is today because attention to detail is what makes your product good from inside to out. Over to you, Bharti. Absolutely, Sagar. And uh, this reminds me of uh, uh, one of the dialogues that uh, Amita Bachchan said, you know, everything lies in the details. And yes, everything really lies in the details. Because uh, when, I, when I talk about uh, proactivity or how to develop a proactive approach, uh, it basically means that you are preparing yourself. You are also looking at all the present things that you have with you. And you are focusing on your future. Now, when you're doing that, when you're actually planning, preparing, and really want to execute, take actions, you are 
looking at the details so that when you are taking actions, you don't miss out on anything. And that is where the proactive approach comes in. So uh, I would like to give a very simple analogy here because uh, I'm also from the bakery industry and I bake a lot of cakes and brownies every day. So attention to detail came into my, uh, my, my blood very quickly. But more importantly, when I started baking, I thought maybe they are just simply ingredients you put together, you mix it well, and you put it in an oven and the cake is baked. I thought it's as simple as that. But as and when I started mastering this whole science and art of baking, I realized that it is not that easy and simple as it seems. Because if I have to bake a perfect cake, I need to understand each and every ingredient. I need to understand the properties of each and every ingredient. For example, if I have to put butter in the cake, in the, in the, uh, in the whole batter, if it is frozen or if it is at a, at a temperature which is a freeze temperature, if I put that butter in the entire batter, the chances of cake not baking it well is very high because the temperature is not as required for the baking. So in there, I had to look at the detailed description of how the recipe is to be made. So the butter, if it is at a room temperature, it becomes easier for it to get mixed with the other ingredients. And then when it goes to the oven, it emulsifies and gives a proper shape and structure to the entire baking and hence the cake becomes perfect. And that's where I realized that attention to detail is very, very critical. As critical as it can really cost million dollars to some companies, it can cost lives, as you rightly mentioned. And uh, that analogy, I always remember that as important it is to understand every element that we have in whatever work, whatever task that we are doing, it is important to understand each and every element so that we use it in the right way to get the results, the desired results we want. Yes, sir. No, no, absolutely. That's that's absolutely very, very important. Let me give an example from an automotive industry where we talk about, again, the integrated life, proactivity, productivity, but all coming down to attention to detail. So I've worked for 16 years in an automotive industry, allied industry, where, you know, chemicals and their properties are very, very important because we all sit in a car and we all know how harmful the VOC and FOGs are. So I wouldn't name the company, I wouldn't name the product, but that was practically observed by all of us. So we had a container full of material just before the assembly was to be done for a very, very big project for a very prestigious product. Now, what happens is we open the container to unload the material. Love, what happened then? Everyone was looking around, everyone was thinking what to unload, how to unload. But there was one engineer who came forward and said, I smell toline. Now, for all those who don't know, toline, acetone, these are all solvents which are banned because they are carcinogenic in nature. Now he said, I smell toline. Now here, this is the guy who is paying attention to detail, not in the unloading process, not in the thing, but also keeping in mind the requirements of the customer. So he said, no, I smell toline. I will not allow this to be unloaded because he was a quality guy. And then there was a debate between operations, purchase, because they wanted the work to be done. They wanted the things to move. And he said, no, I will first test it. He tested it and definitely the toline content were higher. Now, my question to all the listeners is, if you were that engineer, would you allow the product to be unloaded and used in the car? Yes or no? No. What 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 would be your answer, Bharti? Will tell we get the remarks from others? Well, uh, being absolutely uh, 
gaga over the quality part because quality is the very prime factor that we all live for uh, i would not have allowed this because uh, for me looking at or understanding or working for a customer is more important and then quality yes it is it is something that we all live because that's the reputation that's the pride that's the uh, brand that we create that we do deliver quality so okay. any smallest bit no that would be a big no. no now this engineer was very smart but the other engineer came down and said show me the reading well the reading was 8 ppm so he immediately said well this part is going to be used in xyz product overall ppm will come down to 0.1 ppm based on the volume and the weight and as per the specification given by the customer and also as per the scientific study conducted by the automotive association 0.1 ppm is absolutely tolerable and allowed and finally what happened the guy with the attention to detail got clearance from the authorities of the automotive association and the material was cleared so you see when you think that something is wrong but when you pay attention to detail not only on the things that are seen but also in the fine prints the documents the details the study and you relate it or you integrate it with the whole car which is like the life you integrate it with the whole life you win you win the end battle is because you're not compromising on the quality you're not tolerating bad fumes all you're doing is you're integrating with a bigger picture and in the bigger picture it is just 0.1% wherein 2 ppm is allowed so 0.1 ppm is absolutely negligible what happened we all know the thing it was allowed it was passed and it was officially declared as an okay product but of course the company that supplied it was given a warning to reduce it in the future and that was taken care of so why we say that why do we need attention to detail we both have discussed it we both have you know gone into the details now i would love people to just share something that they see on their screen and they can actually tell me the answers so the question here is very very simple count the number of f in the front keep moving forward and ensure you only count once punch in the number of f that you can count okay while vinith is asking what about grading of the product yes it was tested verified and approved by the automotive association and it was approved under the stringent norms and testing done after the automotive association approved it so it was just an example of a company it was verified and it's absolutely doable so yep we would love to know your answers in a minute count the f in the front keep moving forward and ensure you only count it once bharti you can try it as well i have already started counting and uh, because it's only it only says once right yep okay okay i am finished i did lovely you can share your answer in the chat comment so we also have vishal vinith we have mansi we have one more linkedin user we have james from uh, james afreen joining us from linkedin and we have amal we are waiting for your answers great so some of the answers are also coming through a youtube chat which is 27 someone is saying 31 and we have one more saying 35 oh really then i yes. must win no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Great. So time is up. Let me let me share the thoughts here. So while we have three people answering their points, three people saying different numbers, and Vineet here is also confirming 31 from his side. We have three people from YouTube. And Bharti, what was your number? Well, my number is 44. 44. Now I don't I don't wish to say anyone was wrong. Let me say everyone was right. But now, so let's say 21, 25, 37, 31, and 44. If all were right, and if you were a doctor, a neurosurgeon, or a neurospecialist, and you had to declare the number of days your patient was going to live, imagine you said 21, 25, 35, 37, 31, or 44. How would the life of that guy who is your patient be? Right? It will be too, yes, it will be too difficult. And that's exactly why we need to pay attention to details is because not everyone would be a doctor. Not everyone would be an aeronautical engineer. But however small things we do, let me share a very simple example of a household thing because we are talking about an integrated show. Let me share a very small example of an integrated life. Now, I'm sure we all spend good time with the family, but let's say you pay attention to detail about who loves what in the family, what kind of food they love, what kind of uh, things they watch, or what kind of water, what kind of temperature, when they come in the house, you greet them with a glass of water like we have it as an Indian culture. Those kind of small details, small attention to details make people so happy. And that, in fact, initiates such a lovely conversation in the family. That brings out such an amazing thing. So while we talk about you know all those things, these are the benefits of attention to detail not only in the professional life or in the work, but even in the family. Now, as, as a husband, I know that, you know, my wife loves X, Y, Z. And let's say she comes from out and I prepare a hot, hot cup of tea when she comes. Imagine the love or the, the excitement that she would have when she comes and she gets greeted with a hot cup of tea where she always welcomes all of us with a glass of water when we come in. And those small moments of love, that small moment of attention to detail that you pay to your loved ones, that changes so much in life. That brings in so much of vibrancy in life. And the study conducted by Gallup said 70% of the workforce does not have attention to detail or is distracted is only because of few reasons. And trust me, when I say few, they are actually very few silly reasons. First one, they did not have clarity of what is to be done. And that's why, you know, they were losing out their attention to detail. Second, it was a last minute job. They were doing the work in haste. Third, lack of training, lack of knowledge. And fourth, apathy which is lack of sincerity. Most of the time, we fail to pay attention to detail is only because of our laziness or because overconfidence. Like we tend to, you know, look, overlook things. We look, we look just as a scheme read and we say, ah, yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's perfectly. I've written that email and I've sent it. And or maybe we've sent a LinkedIn post and after posting it, we say, I haven't checked the spelling. The spelling is wrong. Let me correct it. So that's how attention to detail helps you to live an integrated life, be it personal, be it professional. Uh, Bharti, you are on mute, my dear. Well, absolutely, Sagar. Uh, very uh, rightly, you mentioned about uh, how attention to details about your family, about your spouse, really helps you to bring that uh, that synergy, bring that love, that affection, that respect for each other. 
I remember I was, uh, I came uh, yesterday when we were traveling, I came home and uh, I was sitting in my, uh, in my living room, in my living area. And my husband noticed something and he just went out. Uh, he just went inside and uh, brought another pillow for me to rest. <laughs> and I was like, how do you know that? He said, I saw you were not comfortable, so I got this. And it, that, that moment just filled uh, my heart with so much of respect, so much of love for him because he noticed I didn't say anything. I didn't even utter anything. I, it was just that discomfort that I was feeling. And he's looked at that expression. He looked at so much paid attention and he got that. So these are the small, small, tiny things that you pay attention in the family and you just go out to take care of your family members. And same goes for the, for the friends. Same thing goes for your colleagues, for your team members. When you're working together at the workplace, how as a team, you are supporting each other. How as a team you pay that attention to the detail for any member that you are working with or your manager that you're working with. And you bring that attention and do something for the other person and see the change that you have in your relationship. I think that's what the integrated life is about. And this also uh, reminds me of a uh, uh, very interesting uh, seminar that I had attended. So it was a management association and uh, we all were invited for that event. So I was a part of uh, the audience and I was excited to know who the speakers are and what today I'll be learning something new. And uh, interestingly, one of the speaker was a lawyer and very uh, renowned advocate. So he gave his uh, talk about uh, legal aspects. Now, I don't come from a legal background. I have no knowledge about it. But it just brings that curiosity to understand a different stream of uh, uh, education. He said something about attention to detail. And till date, it's been 12, 10 years to that event that I attended. But that thing is still that I'm reminded of. He said that when you have seen any kind of, say, legal document, or when you see any kind of contract or invoice or anything that you get in return of some service or product, at the bottom, there is mentioned that subject to uh, XYZ jurisdiction, subject to that the city's name, it could be Varudra, it could be Mumbai, and it's mentioned jurisdiction. And he said, you know, there was this one case that came in his uh, career and he had to fight for the his client. And uh, the fight was all about that one sentence. And he saw that and he said, okay, I can win this. And you know what? He won on one word. And that one, that word is only, O-N-L-Y, only. Because that sentence was incomplete. It was not mentioned that this is subject to Vadodra jurisdiction only. Because it was not mentioned only, he said, I can file for jurisdiction from any city that I want and I will gather the resources, I'll collect the evidences that I want, because that thing was happening in another city. And he said, in our, in our, uh, uh, you know, in our case, when we really want to, uh, when we really want to pay attention and really bring out the truth in the life, we pay attention to those details that are mentioned in that particular situation what event happened, what situations, what were the evidences, what were the proof. And that helps us to really, really help us to win the cases. And that sentence has uh, really put a mark in my, uh, in my life because all I do is pay attention to the details that is mentioned. And that brings us uh, uh, really the required kind of uh, uh, life that we want. Another example, uh, I think we have, uh, uh, Sagar has uh, internet connectivity, it seems. So he's, he's off the uh, live, but he'll soon join us. Another interesting part that I would want to uh, tell you is about, uh, about how attention to detail really helped us. So here I was uh, interviewing or uh, interacting with one of the senior managers. 
And uh, this senior manager uh, told me something about a very grave situation that happened in their company. And uh, that was a really alarming situation. So what had happened was uh, they had some uh, discussions with the vendors. And uh, there was a proposal that was sent. And after a few negotiations and a round of discussions and everything, the uh, proposal was uh, approved and the deal was done. So the project was on board and they started giving out the services. The year passed by and uh, there was a time for renewal. So when the renewal happened, again, the uh, vendors and uh, the senior managers, the whole team met and they again came up with some negotiations because the times had changed, some inflations and some um, things would have added to the services. So few things changed and that's how uh, the renewal, whatever the amount was decided, the renewal happened and the amount was lower than what was decided. And again, it all, uh, they all finally came to an agreement and everything went well. Now, here's what happened. Things all went well with the both the parties. The deal was done after the negotiation and the renewal process happened. In this entire process, somebody missed out informing the uh, department, the accounts department, who is responsible for releasing the payments. The services were ongoing. The, uh, the, the entire uh, deal was happening fine. The client was happy. The vendor is happy. The, uh, everybody is happy. And at the end, nobody realized that this small bit of or small piece of information where in the renewal, the, the numbers have changed that was not informed and simply looked at the previous uh, project deal and started releasing the payments it was only after three months that it was it came to the notice that the amount has released is higher than what the revised agreement was and here came the uh, blame game a lot of things happened so the senior manager was showing was was sharing his uh, sorry was sharing her bit of it and he she said that had it been paid attention to that small number that changed in the whole agreement probably things would have not happened a small mistake a small gap in the communication a small uh, misled or I would say a lack of not paying attention to that number that had changed in the renewal agreement this led to uh, so much of loss or so much of cost to the company and that was uh, that was something which was obviously not acceptable by the company so attention to detail when you really look at it becomes very very imperative for workplace becomes very imperative for the leaders because if you look at from a very broad perspective there are two types of people one who are very focused on paying attention to the minute details of it and it could be as as simple as uh, looking at the grammatical mistakes looking at the spelling errors of people but it's not only about that it's also about how important you are, how importance you're giving to uh, the details that are mentioned, whether it is mentioned in agreements, whether it's mentioned in any proposal, how important it is for you to look at those details. So when you are uh, paying attention towards, uh, hello, Sagar, welcome back. <laughs> So when you are paying attention to those minute details, some people are naturally have a bent of mind towards those details. They capture the details like this because it's a natural strength that they have. While some leaders, some of us may focus more on the big picture. They may focus on the larger picture that they have, 
more visionary. They are more uh, focused towards having those big dreams in their life. So the focus is more towards big picture. Now, this is there's nothing wrong and right in this because we have a natural strength. We have a natural bent of mind towards either looking at a big picture or looking for the details. Now, if you are a person who is more, more towards looking at a big picture, then it is important for you to consciously push yourself to look at the details where you're working, to look at the details where you are um, enjoying your life, looking at the areas of your life. So that conscious push is required, and that is what will help you to bring out that uh, attention towards every element that you want to have. Yes, Sagar. Yeah, as you rightly said, it's it's a choice about being a bigger picture or you know observing minute details and that is exactly the point where i would love to share that it doesn't matter that you have a focus on the bigger picture it doesn't matter that you're investing your time into finer prints what you need is to evaluate what is going to add value to you your customer your loved ones and the people near you which means let me read out something that i have picked up and i loved the thing it says we don't need to get consumed by the details it's a delicate balance that we need to make between perfection and paying attention to detail just to ensure that the quality of the work is not compromised which means you don't have to invest your time in correcting trivial errors which are very very minute which does not impact anything maybe like a full stop or a comma but ensure that you put the only in place when you actually need it to be so that's that's what attention to detail is all about right yeah and that's yes. Yeah, go on. Yeah. And uh, uh, very rightly said, Amitabh, he has mentioned that it may lead to a disaster sometimes. And yes, as uh, Sagar also mentioned, that aviation industry is full of attention to details. And uh, uh, my my spouse, my husband is a big, big fan, or I would say is a big uh, uh, devotee of uh, aviation industry. So uh, for him, uh, aviation is all about details. Every minute detail is important, trivial. Otherwise, it may cost uh, lives. And I, I came across a very interesting, uh, very interesting article. And uh, that article also mentioned that years ago, uh, the airlines, uh, uh, the airlines name is Elitalia, Elitalia Airlines. You know what happened to this airlines? They mistakenly offered business class flights from Toronto to Cyprus for only $39 instead of the actual price. And uh, obviously, it just went out like a wildfire. And as many as like 2,000 people, they just took advantage of this error. And uh, they got tickets. And they flew at only $39 from Toronto to Cyprus. And the company costed uh, the company cost exceeded $7.2 million. Now you can imagine one small error and how it affected the uh, the company. Absolutely. So let us now understand. We we understood what is intention to detail. Why integrated life requires you to have attention to detail. We also shared about what are the you know the implications or how important is it at attention to detail so now it brings us to a point to definitely give you some answers the answers are how can you develop attention to detail or how can you develop your your curiosity of having attention to detail the first and the foremost is ensure that you reduce your screen time the screen time that you spend watching reels watching videos and watching entertainment on social media. If you really want to spend some screen time, enjoy 
the integrated live show every Tuesday at 9 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> well, jokes apart, but definitely you need to reduce your screen time. A second, start observing few things around your home, around your office, which in normal conditions you would just walk away. Like I, I am I'm basically from Bombay and Bombay the life is all about catching the next train or catching the train that you are fixed to and people actually run past the same road every day without even observing surroundings near them. So I would love people and request people that why don't you observe few things around you in your home, in your in your office, in your uh, vicinity or on the road that you travel and identify few things that have changed from earlier or maybe you can start watching them from today and share with us three things that made you happy while you were going towards your office or while you're working in your office or while you were at your home start observing those things third that i would love to share is start appreciating the people you know with a genuine reason like most of the time, because we know that, you know, we have to show gratitude. We keep saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, which is completely meaningless. Right? We get out of the lift, we say thank you. Someone gives us a glass of water, we say thank you. Someone drops us at the cab, we say thank you. The minute you change that into something meaningful, like I lost the connection for a few seconds now, and Bharti managed it. So instead of saying thank you to Bharti, if I say thank you Bharti for covering up and managing the show while I was off, that makes it meaningful for Bharti. When I take a glass of water from some loved one in my family and I say thank you for the glass of water, thank you for the care that you always give it to me. Let's say you're in office and your manager always takes care of you when you're not well or you know keeps a tab of you that you've reached at the office or when you're going outside and uh, you know maybe you're at a parking lot and the and the security guard always tells you to park it in the center and do it this way and that way and you you get out of the car and say thank you for taking care of my car can you imagine the impact that will have on that person and your car he will be more careful towards your car he'll be taking more care towards your needs he would smile with a genuine gratitude in his heart because all you said is thank you for X, Y, Z. And yeah, there's always, uh, we have some interesting comment. There's always, always a slot in parking zone, but without focus, no one can find <laughs> one to park. Absolutely, sir. That absolutely should be coming from Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore or Hyderabad. Yeah, very, very well said, uh, Sagar. And I think what you have shared that how we can really bring out that attention to detail in our life, that will really help many of us. And uh, this reminds me of uh, another interesting analogy. Uh, I remember as, a, as children, we used to play a jigsaw puzzle. And uh, it, was so, it was so interesting to look at the pieces. But initially, when we look at the pieces, we would always get jumbled up that, oh my God, where this piece will fit in <laughs> unless and until we see the big picture. So the moment we look at the big picture and we looked at the pieces, we will then see that, OK, how are we going to solve it? And I remember as a child, we used to first take the first step we used to sort out all the uh, similar with the similar color of uh, pieces together. So we'll keep the same color at once and the other color at one end and the third color and the fourth color yes. once that is done the second step would be to look at or identify the designs that are there in each piece and how it is matching the big picture and that's how slowly and gradually we'll start with somewhere and eventually lead to the entire big picture and that is something that is something that uh, is very similar to paying attention to the details that's mentioned in each piece Unless and until we looked at that every piece, how, what color it matches to the other piece, what is the design that's mentioned on each piece that matches to the other. If it's not matching, we may remove the piece and we put up the next piece and see if that matches. And that paying 
attention to the detail will lead to the big picture, which is our desired outcome, which is the desired results that we want. Now, in life, unlikely, the pieces are not colorful. The pieces are either in white, black, or in the shades of gray. So it becomes more difficult for us to look at what design, what texture, what color it will match the other piece. And that's where as adults, because we were children then, as adults now, we need to pay really attention to our surroundings, being more aware about what is happening surrounding us in our life, with our people that we love, with the people that we work. Some leaders who are so visionary and they always have that big picture in their mind. They always are, you know, they want that those dreams to come true. They'll talk about so many projects in one in one breath, in one breath. What they can probably do is have a combination of people in their team. Look at or choose the people who have this knack of attention to detail, who are go to the specifics of everything and they want those tiny bits of information. Have those people in the team so that you have those people telling you or asking you questions about details, helping you to pay attention to those details. And obviously, with such kind of combination in the team, you will definitely get your desired results. Yep, yep, yep. Very, very well said, Parthi. And that brings us to an amazing thing for all of us to remember that pay attention in the next week let us know how it integrated in your personal and professional life. Let us know how it impacted for you to generate happiness, gratitude, and sense of fulfillment. Remember, attention to detail is not only in the legal documents or in the aviation industry, but also in a very, very small parking lot, a lift, a glass of water that you receive, or in a problem that someone is facing in your team, just pay attention to the details about their behavior, the way they are sitting, the way they are working. Just keep observing and absorbing the information that comes to you. And my dear friend, you will absolutely make your life a blessed one with a lot of sense of fulfillment, leading you to an integrated life. So don't forget to tune in every Tuesday at 9 p.m. on the Integrated Life Show. And we also are very happy to let you know that the website is up and running that we discussed last time. It is also having the form that you can fill in. The website detail is as shown here. I will just remove one ticker here. So you have it there, the integratedlife.co.in. You can go onto the website, fill the form, share your questions with us, and we will definitely answer them for you. Over to you, Bharti. Yes, so we are really excited and uh, we really, really want to look at, uh, maybe read your questions. So go to the website, which is www.theintegratedlife.co.in and fill up the question. And I would really want to share this, that the episode one, you can go and download the uh, the, the PDF, the, uh, the very exciting, it's already there. It's already there. Yes, Sagar has already mentioned the link. So you can just click the link and download it. And uh, you will have the gift from us right away. And uh, what Sagar mentioned that, yes, attention to detail is, is about being aware about your surroundings, being aware about who you are, what you are, and what is happening surrounding you. And by any chance, if you want to bake a cake in your uh, in your kitchen, you must pay attention to all the ingredients, the recipe, the method, the process to bake a perfect cake. And we will look forward to have you again next Tuesday at 9 p.m. And we would love to have your questions. So if you have any comments, any questions during the talk, during the show, please put it up in the comment section. We would love to grab those questions. Um, and thank you so guys... much. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, go on, Bharti. No, no, absolutely. Okay. Yes, Agar. So I'm saying on that note, if you have paid attention to detail to all the listeners, the cake is the integrated life that you want. The ingredients are your personal, professional health and other aspects. And remember, the butter is your better half. 
so please ensure to use the butter in the right temperature the right softness the right texture and your cake will be awesome so have it love it and enjoy it. the integrated live show with sagar and bharti every tuesday at 9 pm and we will see you next tuesday at 9 pm right here in this channel on the show thank you very much for joining us and we will see you again thank you so much see you next tuesday 9 pm bye bye <laughs> bye bye <laughs>